Here are the top three most smallest sea creatures in the world, and the last one will shock you. Number three, Schindleria brevipinguis, or Stout Floater. Schindleria brevipinguis, also known as the Stout Floater, is one of the smallest known vertebrate fish in the world. Discovered near the Great Barrier Reef in 2004, this tiny species belongs to the gobioid fish group. Adults measure only about 7 to 8 millimeters in length, making them nearly transparent and extremely delicate. Despite their minute size, they have elongated, slender bodies with a faint silvery sheen and underdeveloped fins, adapted for drifting in the open ocean rather than active swimming. Their bones and muscles are reduced, giving them a larval-like appearance even as adults. Number 2. Irukanji Jellyfish Irukanji jellyfish are among the smallest yet most dangerous jellyfish in the world. Native to the waters of northern Australia, particularly around the Great Barrier Reef, these jellyfish are almost invisible to the naked eye, with bells measuring only about 2.5 centimeters or 1 inch across and thin tentacles that can extend up to a meter. What makes them infamous is their venom. A sting from an Irukanji jellyfish can trigger a severe and potentially life-threatening condition known as Irukanji syndrome. Symptoms typically appear within 20 to 40 minutes and include intense muscle cramps, nausea, vomiting, skyrocketing blood pressure, severe back pain, and even a feeling of impending doom. In rare cases, stings can be fatal. And before we proceed to our last topic, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And number one, zooplankton. Zooplankton are tiny, often microscopic animals that drift in oceans, seas, and freshwater bodies. Unlike phytoplankton, which produce their own food through photosynthesis, zooplankton are heterotrophic, meaning they feed on phytoplankton, bacteria, or even smaller zooplankton. They come in many forms, ranging from single-celled protozoans to small crustaceans like copepods, and even the early larval stages of larger animals such as fish, crabs, and starfish. Zooplankton usually float with currents, though some can move slightly up and down in the water. Ecologically, they play a critical role in aquatic food webs, acting as a bridge between microscopic producers, phytoplankton, and larger consumers like fish, whales, and seabirds. Their abundance and movement also influence global carbon cycles, as they help transfer carbon from surface waters to the deep ocean. And how about you? What kind of sea creatures you like the most? 